right, this is Unit 6, Formative 1, Day 4, Samples and Surveys. So this is um, asking questions to get data from. Um, so here's a couple examples. All right, the first thing we're going to do is tell whether this survey question is biased. All right, would you rather visit an exciting zoo or a boring museum? Okay, now it, what it means by biased is the question is steering you one way or the other. Okay, if you like boring things, you're going to pick the museum. If you like exciting things, you're going to pick the zoo. So this is a bias question because of the words exciting and boring. When you ask a survey question, it should not be biased. It should be straightforward. It should not steer the person in either direction. So this is biased. And it's biased because of the adjectives. Okay, um, exciting and boring. All right, what is your favorite flavor of soda? Okay, this is a good question. This is not biased because it doesn't steer you one way or the other. It's not saying, what is your favorite flavor of delicious soda? Okay, so it's not biased. Okay. Right, next one. We're going to tell whether the survey method is biased. Now, before we did the question, now the survey method, whether or not it's biased, is um, is how you're taking the information. Okay. So number three, you go to a wrestling match and you ask people if they if they like to watch wrestling on TV. Okay. This I believe this one would be biased to me because normally if you're going to a wrestling match, they probably like watching it on TV. They might not, but it's biased. It's people that like wrestling. Okay. So this method would be biased. Okay. And it's biased because location is wrestling. Okay. All right. You ask every fifth person down the hallway at your school what their favorite sport is. Okay. Um, this one's not biased. Okay. Um, just because they're in high school doesn't mean they have to pick a certain sport, but this one's not biased. Okay? You're randomly picking people. Types of sampling. Now, there's certain things that you can do when you sample. There's certain ways to sample. The first one's random sampling, and that is just you're going to randomly pick people. Make sure you know these. These will come up. Write these definitions down. There's no order to it. You're just randomly picking people. Systematic sampling. We'll go back to random. Like this is like picking names out of a hat. Okay. Systematic sampling is there's order. Okay. There's order to your sampling. Um, for example, pick every fifth person. Okay, so you stand at the doors and every fifth person that comes in you're going to pull off the side and you're going to ask them a question. Okay, it's not biased, it's just every fifth, every tenth person, every other person. Okay, so this is systematic. And the last one's stratified. Stratified is when you're going to group and then pick. You're going to group them and then survey them. A good, ex a good example of this one is high school. We're going to split the school up into grades, then randomly sample people in those grades. Okay, so we're splitting them up and then we're going to pick, you know, 20 people from each grade. Okay. That's stratified. So stratified is you group, then randomly pick. Systematic is you pick every fifth one, every seventh one. Random is it's like picking out of a hat. All right, last thing we're going to do. These are very good questions, so make sure um, you get some information down here. I know you're not probably not going to write all of this down, but make sure you know what we're talking about. Okay, first of all, it asks, what type of sampling is being used in each situation? Tell whether the sampling method will produce a good sample. That means it's not biased. Okay. A company manufacturer selects a number between 20 and 50 and then checks the quality of every nth computer they produce, where n is the number selected. Okay. I believe uh, this one is going to be systematic. 
because they're picking every... Oops. Every nth computer. Okay. Number six. Oh, well, will it produce a good sample? Um, yeah. Okay. I believe it would produce a good sample. It's not like they're picking a group. Um, you know, they're only picking between the 20 and 50. That wouldn't be a good sample. All right, six. A teacher splits the class into males and females, so they're breaking up into groups. Then asks five males and five females what their favorite animal is. Okay, this one's going to be stratified because they're splitting them into groups and then randomly picking five males and five females. Okay, what their favorite animal is. And yes, this would be produce a good sample. A phone company randomly selects 200 people from its customer list to deliver a survey to. Okay, this one's random. Okay, helps with that word there, random. Now, this one depends um, what they're surveying. If they're surveying about their service, then yes, they're going to survey their customers. But if they're surveying um, what company they like to use or why they pick a certain company to use then it's not a good sample because they're going to pick them because they use them. So this one would not produce a good sample because they're only surveying their people. All right, that's it. You guys have a great day. That's all of Formative One.